Welcome. What's ABAP? Microsoft was founded in April 1975, but SAP was founded even earlier, in April 1972. Then was the birth of ABAP, which this video is about. Therefore, the term ABAP is explained. The ABAP editor is shown and the error lock is displayed. By the end of the video, you know what ABAP is, where to find the ABAP workbench and what a short dump is. Let's begin with the term ABAP. When SAP started in the early 70s, this was business IT Stone Age. At that time, there wasn't such a variety of programming languages like today. So SAP created its own programming language and after some years, ABAP emerged. Advanced Business Application Programming, an application-specific programming language. ABAP was used to develop the SAP R3 platform, but also allowed customers to enhance SAP applications. Later, SAP released ABAP Objects, an object-oriented extension to ABAP. ABAP is geared to develop business applications in SAP and nothing outside of the system. And if the existing customizing settings are not sufficient, customers can create their own transactions, reports or interfaces. So, ABAP is SAP's own programming language, which can also be used by customers to enhance the system. Let's turn to the ABAP editor. The programming environment is called ABAP Workbench. You'll find it within the SAP ERP, the first folder here in the tools. This workbench is comprised of many different parts and each of it is called by a transaction. For instance, the T-code SE38 calls the ABAP editor as you see here. I take a random program and display its source code. Now I'm in the ABAP editor, where the code for business applications in SAP is written. You see here an example of ABAP code. End user have usually no access to this part of the system, but I just wanted to show where all those transactions in SAP are created. In short, all transactions are programmed in SAP directly, within the ABAP workbench. Let's turn to the short dump. When applications are executed in SAP, runtime errors may occur. An ABAP program can be terminated during its runtime for a number of different reasons. The one you may come across most as an end user is a timeout. This means that the running work process has been interrupted because it took too much time to execute it. That's nothing spectacular. It sometimes may happen when the system is quite busy. A detailed error log, a so-called short dump, like this one, is displayed on your screen. Here you can see what happened. A short text shows the reason for the error. The next frame describes what happened and the third frame gives advice what to do. But you don't need all that information for a simple timeout. Just try the transaction later again. So if runtime errors occur, a short dump with details about the error is immediately displayed. With that, you're at the end of the video. In conclusion, ABAP is a business application-specific programming language created by SAP in order to build their packaged enterprise software. The programming is done within the ABAP Workbench, an extensive toolbox that can be found in the SAP menu. All tools of the workbench are called by transactions. The T-code SE38 calls the ABAP editor where the code for the applications is written. If a transaction can't be carried out, then it's terminated automatically. A short dump or error log gives detailed information about the event. And that's all for this time. The next video is about authorization in SAP. Thank you for watching and bye!